All right. Whoa. Well, hello. Welcome back to DRA Fishing. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. We're a couple weeks after Thanksgiving now. Yeah. Um, Christmas is sneaking up on us. That's kind of why I wanted to do this video. Because uh, this is something that I think I would want. Um, if I didn't already go get it for myself. So, um, what is this? This is not the Six Cents subscription sack. So, they, this company, Six Cents, they make a subscription sack. Um, comes with uh, assorted baits every month. This is not it. Um, this is called the Mega Pond Sack. I don't know what's in here. Um, it was just something that I intrigued me because I... I like to pond hop a little. I like to find places to fish, small bodies of water, go out and pond. Find a bass there, right? So that's what this is. Um, and I just want to get into it, see uh, what, what if it's worth it. Uh, I think the original price on it is like 68 bucks, 68.74. I got it for 49.99, so 50 bucks. And we'll see. Let's let's just have a look. So, um, it's going to all be six cents bait, so we're not going to get anything from any other company. They only put their own baits in. Now, six cents, typically known for pretty, pretty high quality baits. So, soft plastic right away. Now, this is a bait I haven't used, but I'm super intrigued by it. Um, it's, it's not been out that long. It's called the Bongo 3.7. It is a cross style trailer, I guess. Uh, it's supposed to have real aggressive action. Let me pull it out. Um, and I'm excited to use it because uh, I've been looking for something like this. I use a particular bait that I'm really pleased with. And I think if this does what I think a, it's supposed to, um, I, I think it might replace what I'm using now, but we'll see. We gotta use it first. So that's called the Bongo 3.7. Really good swim trailer, swim jig trailer, really good chatterbait trailer, um, from what I'm being told. So uh, I'm excited to use it, and uh, I'll let you know as soon as I do. I'll probably do a video on it. Another soft plastic right away. This looks like the way, oh, and it's the Flush 5.2. This is an exclusive color. That's one of the things that, uh, it's either a color, it's not named yet, they don't have it out, or it's just for this sack in particular. So this is the, again, the Flush 5.2. Take it out, and here we go. It's a good looking bait. Um, I think that, you probably have all kinds of rigging options here. So, um, almost like a little straight tail, but not. It's got a little split tail there. It looks like some kind of watermelon candy color. Little green pumpkin on the back. So, um, definitely, this will definitely get used, especially if we're thinking pond sack, right? That's, that's what we got to keep in mind here. This is specifically bait designed for, for ponds. Um, ah, the Axle Swim Jig. This is Black Bluegill. All right. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, now, what makes it the Axle and kind of what is unique about the Axle compared to a regular swim jig is you can see here let's just take the uh, undo the skirt here all right so there's the swim jig and that's typically right there what a swim jig looks like right you got your head up top right and this, this and then you have your skirt and your hook set up now what makes this unique is this it this hook is independent and it moves right it's on a swivel and then you you independently they have a screw lock here so you screw your bait 
into there and then you rig it right you rig it weedless texas style right um and then and what it does it makes it weedless and it makes an excellent swim jig and then you have that movement with that little bit extra action um, because you have that independent movement so when you're going through the water and let's say you slow down you start to drop your bait will kind of you know follow so it'll get that aggressive action um, when you're trying to pull in baits like this bongo it kind of has that movement in there that just let those already aggressive um, paddle tails, I guess we can call them, those cross, those cross style trailers, and it just makes them even more aggressive and gives it that little bit extra movement and that little bit extra chance that we all want, we all need when we're chasing bass. So this is a great bait. And again, another another thing you can you can use off the pond. Um, so far, I wish they'd changed the name of this to just, um, well, let's just see before I say it out loud. Uh, all right, this is just their, their, their finesse jig. Um, this one is called, yep, it's, it's the, again, it's the axle, right? So this is going to move independently like that. It's not a swim jig. It's a finesse jig, but just imagine now you have, you're throwing your jig, you're hopping your jig, your, your jig hits the bottom, boom, and you have that little bit of extra movement back and forth as opposed to just a stationary jig. So um, it may be a difference maker. Um, the color's Nirvana, by the way. And um, yeah, cool, cool baits. Cool baits so far. So far, all stuff I can use um, off, off the bank, off, off a... Uh, you know the edge of a pond so now we got the swank 77x all right um cool bait if you're not familiar with the swank see if i can get this open without messing it all up if you're not familiar with the swank 77 i think they make a 66 as well which is a little bit smaller um you know, strike king came out with something called the hybrid hunter and i think this kind of followed suit or vice versa. I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble there, but um, you can see the difference right there in that lip. Now, this it reminds me of a, of a regular crankbait. Like when I'm fishing it, um, it it reminds me almost the same. Still has that same depth, but where you want to be throwing this is like around grass and stuff like that. It has that different. Um, has that different lip there it will still it'll still dive right it'll still dive but with that lip being kind of more you can kind of rip it through the grass better it's a little bit different presentation too i i don't want to say limited to grass i want to say anywhere you get you got a lot of cover man it hits that cover and something unique about this that i didn't notice when i first started fishing it someone pointed it out to me um something unique like say there's a rock on the bottom right and you're pulling, 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 boom. You hit that rock. Now a regular square bill will whoop, do this, right? It'll do this. This one, when it hits, it kind of does this. It's that different presentation. So again, the Swank 77, um, they make a 66. I do not have one up there, but they're incredible baits. Um, you need if you don't have one um you need to be fishing one of these and any anything you get that can be a different presentation than what they see 100 times a week get there's not everyone's out there tossing these these are these are excellent baits um and they they have a little bit of their own uniqueness that can be a difference maker um and this is called pumpkin seed sunfish. And it's pretty, pretty accurate. So another good bank. Uh, yeah, another good bait for the bank. Swank 77X. Like I said, they make a smaller one too. So if you're chasing after small mouth or anything like that, have at her. All right. I'm trying to put it somewhat back in its place. So, so far... One, two, three, 
four, five, one, two, three, four, five baits. Two of them are soft plastics, two jigs, and we got a crankbait. It looks like everything else in here is going to be crankbaits. All right, the Crush Silent. Um, I am a Crush fanatic now. I got a ton of them here. I got about twice that many in my box. Um, and these are just waiting to get used in case I lose one or something. Now, these these are the, uh, no, those are the curbs. I'm sorry. Those um, crush is right above it. I'm almost running out of those. So, um, I almost messed up there. Uh, the crush, now the, the difference between, you have the crush and then you have the crush sign. So, um these these are a difference maker and listen i don't i don't know the science behind it so much i just know sometimes fish are a little finicky and this color is sweet baby bass all right so i don't know a hundred percent the 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 science behind it but this no rattle right most crankbaits now, I mean, almost everything you buy, it's got some kind of knock to it, right? It's got like a tinny rattle, or it's got like a one knocker, or a two knocker. Like, it's going to make some noise, right? To try to get that reaction bite. It's going to it's gonna draw fish in. Um, the crush, and um, you're seeing them a lot more and more. Um, silent crankbaits. And they are difference makers. I I mean, I, I've fished places where um, it's perfect conditions for like a square bill. And I I am not, I'm not getting a bite. I'm not getting a bite. Or I'm not getting a bite. Or it's slow uh, when I know it should be better. And um, I'm telling you, you switch. If they're a little finicky, you switch to that silent. If you're fish, if you're cranking and you fish to a silent or you switch... I can't talk tonight. You switch to a silent crank, it, it, it'll be a difference maker. Just try it. Get a couple, try it. All right, we got another crush. This is the 100X. Um, this is a nice one. This is called Bluegill Fire, right? This is the 100X, a little bit bigger, right? Let's pull it out and have a look for you. Um, I know that takes a little more time, but you know. Why do a video I get if we're not going to get a good look? So this is called Bluegill Fire. Beautiful. I can't say enough about Six Cents and their quality um, of, I mean, the whole build, right? The crankbait itself, like the, the blank, so to speak, the um, the the integrity of, the, of even the bill, the strength of the hooks, and the, you know, the paint schemes are incredible. Uh, the, or the color schemes, I guess we should call them. I, I'm telling you, for the price point, and, and I'm, again, I'm careful with what I say, for the price point, I think it might be the best stuff you can get. Um, there's better stuff out there. Don't, you know, I'm sure someone's probably screaming on the keyboard right now, ready to, but no, I, I get it. But for, for the price point, there's, there's, I don't, I don't know that you get better stuff. Um, if you don't agree, let me know. If you do agree, let me know. Here's the curve. Curve finesse square bell. These are fish catchers right here. You like smallmouth? Man, you find a creek or a pond. And so here's what I'm saying. So uh, this is what I was saying before. I, I wish they'd call this like the bank fishing sack. Um, because this is... Man, this, I mean, anywhere I'd go, lakes, creeks, everyone's got their honey hole, you know, that they can get out on the bank and catch fish. And it's not just got to be, it doesn't have to just be a farm pond, right? Or a, or a little pond somewhere. It, it can be, um, you know, those little creek side, creeks and, and places you get on the bank. Again, be again beautiful color scheme. This is, uh, this is just, this is called Blue Gilla. So, man, these, I'm telling you right here, you don't have these. Now, the, oh, I hooked myself. Um, if you don't have these curves, you, you got to get some. I mean, this, again, even if you're, you, you are fishing something, there's bigger cranks aren't working, and you, you just take a, 
you know, you downsize your bait, you, you know, you guys know what you got to do. I don't have to tell you how to fish, um, but again, they, they can be difference makers. The curve, this is called, yeah, the curve finesse square bill. They're, they're, I'm telling you, they're difference makers. That's, that's what it, that's what I like to, to kind of get, there's still more bait in here. Um, that's what I like to get across to people is find those baits that, you know, you may not throw them all the time, but, um, find the ones that, when, when the stuff that you like to throw or, um, the stuff that's usually working isn't, um, there's, there's stuff out there that'll work or just at least change your day. Turn getting skunked into getting one or two, you know. So here's called, this is called the Crush Flat 75X. Now, this has become one of my favorites, too, uh, on, on certain bodies of water, anyway. Um, so with the flat sides, it's got a little bit tighter wobble. Um, this color, again, bluegill fire. Again, I mean, take note notice here. Um, take notice here to the color scheme and the hooks and the integrity of, of the entire build uh yeah i just don't again don't think it gets too much better for the price point um so we're at 50 bucks that's what i spent on this sack uh i'm we're already we were there whoa we're there i don't know what happened there um had some camera issues um, sometimes, man, sometimes GoPro. Um, anyway, like I was saying, we're there. We, we have 50 bucks. We got our money. So everything else in here, probably from that last one to what's left in here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, is, is, is good. Here's the Crush 50X and when one of my favorite colors, Warmouth. Um, it's not so much that the color works like everywhere or anything like that. I think it looks cool. Uh, let me try to get it open quickly for you. And I don't know why we're hooked up. There we go. Yeah, that color is cool, man. So I really like that. And uh, this is the Crush 50. X got a nice tinny rattle in there. I I like these baits. Simple square bill now. If you don't, if you never heard me talk before, or, uh, you just don't remember. I don't like fishing two kinds of crankbaits. One's a swim jig, or not baits, period. One's a swim jig, and I love cranking a uh, square bill. So well, I just, man, I get wild over these things. They come and I, I just can't wait to get them out and get fish hooked onto the end of them. Oh, and now we have the Quake 70 classic, right? These are good old lipless. You know, I fish a lot of these off the bank in a couple places, a couple creeks in particular, small rivers. I lose these things all the time. But there it is. This is the Quake 70. This is called the Cajun Bluegill. That's a beautiful color. And that is a color that will catch fish. I, um, I can attest to that. So that is what is left in the bag. Now there it is. The six cents of what they call the Mega Pond Sack. I think it's a great sack. I think that was awesome. Um... 50 bucks right now. I don't know how long it's going to stay that way. Listen, I have nothing to do with these guys except for I buy stuff with my hard-earned money that I earn on my own, not fishing and not from them. So um, I don't have to say, hey, this, this stuff's great. I want to say it. So, um, man, that's what we have today. So as you can see, we're in a different spot here. I have uh, stuff getting set up. It's it's hard. Like you said, working hard, uh, holiday, a lot of family stuff, a lot of work stuff, um, a lot of kid stuff. Just life, right? Um, and so I'm trying to get things moved in here and organized and uh, 
slowly but surely, but we're getting it. So thanks for watching. Listen to me, please like and subscribe. Um, you know, you don't get love from YouTube unless that starts to happen. And I'm trying to build a channel because I like doing this. And uh, who knows where it goes. And um, it's just what I want to do. Uh, so help me out. Um, and uh, keep watching. Keep thumbs up. Keep, you know, sharing, subscribing, whatever. Just help me out. Um, I can't thank you enough for that. So, uh, I think until next time, I have another six cents. I got some stuff coming from them. I got some stuff coming from Tackle Warehouse. Um, I got a new setup coming, uh, Rod and Reel. I don't know when that's coming, but I got it for specific reasons. So, um, and we'll pick up on that here in the future. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I, uh, well, you know, I, I know I kind of say it over and over again, but I, I really, I can't thank you enough. Um, so, um, yeah, guys, get, get, start getting ready for the holidays and, uh, you know, spend time with family, friends, and it, if you can still go catch fish or at least try. See you guys.